What's going on guys? Danny and Lanier Lawn Care. So we have put this PAS system rack together. It's very simple. It's only four bolts. You just pretty much connect in this bar right here to these. Then it mounts to your trailer and this part goes on the inside. Your lock will go toward the outside of your trailer. When you go to unlock, you just lift that up. You can pull out your attachments. When you go to lock, you just push it and it'll lock back into place. Now you can get this with a key or combination lock. Combination lock does cost a little extra, but uh, also the blocks do not come with this rack. So you're looking at 200 bucks for this. Then you're looking at the cost of the blocks, which if you have the PAS system, you're already running the equipment defender racks. Well, you've probably already got blocks, but if not, and you just wanted this strictly for your PAS attachments, well, you could buy the five blocks, put them on, uh, set them to where you need them in case you're going to put one in the de equipment defender rack. And that way, all you do, we're going, we're going to put these together. We're going to show you exactly how this works. But, uh, but the blocks, enclosed trailer for the mounting hardware for that, you're looking at 30 bucks. So you're looking at 200 for this plus another 30 for the enclosed trailer. Now you can mount this different ways on the enclosed trailer. One of the ways they say you can mount it is you can mount it literally like this uh, against the wall. You can mount it at a 45. You can mount it straight up and down. Uh, you can mount it exactly like this or like this. Um, so there's different options. You can mount this. The instructions on this, very, very clear, very simple to follow. I mean, you, you honestly can't get any easier of instructions. The only thing I really had trouble finding was a, <laughs> a 27 64th drill bit. Good luck on that one. I don't know why they picked the weirdest, oddest, bit but 27 64 so weird so uh let's get these on the trailer let's get these uh with some tools in there show you exactly how this works and if you have any questions just comment down below all right guys so we got this installed on the trailer and i put this on charles's trailer because he has all of these attachments and i do not so um I said, Charles, you've got all these attachments. We'll put it on your trailer. You can use it because you've spent all this money. So uh, we put it on Charles's trailer. The one thing we did run into though, is if you have this uh, curved shaft edger, well, when you go to put it in here, because of the way it is, it would possibly fit, but it would be sticking way up because it has to be to where this will slide. And if it's curved, off to the side any well you're not going to get it to lock in place so it's got to be mounted down here somewhere which makes it real low or real sitting pretty high so uh we kind of ran into an issue with that but that's what's used majority of the time is that pas system uh is the edger so all the other attachments fit fine you know of course they swivel some uh, everything fit great and then when you go to open it all you do is literally pull this up. There's a lever right here and you'll pull this lever up. And once you pull this lever up, you just move it off to the side. You can grab any attachment out of here you'd like. Set it back down in there. Grab your other one, whatever. Set it back down in there. What am I hitting? Oh, hitting. there we go. <clears throat> you want to grab your thing here and move that. There we go. Uh-oh, uh-oh. These, these stupid... Uh, these things on the end but uh you have to have one of these that's what's going to stop where it needs to go so then you stick it back down in there now i could put this pretty much wherever <clears throat> once you slide it down in there then it it has a little stop in place that it sets on but uh yeah so this is pretty pretty convenient then when you want to go lock it all you do is grab this side or this side either one pull it it'll slide right back into its locking position then you have your key, or you could do with the combination lock, whichever one you want. And then now, you're not getting this out of here. You wanna grab it and shake it, see how solid it is? Oh, it's, it's, 
it'll it'll move the whole trailer and that's just with two bolts uh holding it down to this you know this iron angle iron now you can buy the extra piece if you wanted to that would mount here and then you can mount it to the side of your angle iron on the inside of your trailer plus mount it to the floor they do sell that piece as well so that's something you could get if you wanted to uh, personally, if, if I was going to mount one of these, but he's got his lawnmower set to where it goes on the very front, I would probably mount this on the very front of the trailer. Personally, just me. Uh, but anyway, that's it. That's how it works all in a nutshell. Pretty easy, pretty simple. Uh, very easy install. Once again, I just used the 3 8 bit, drilled my initial holes, then I used the 27 64ths bit and finished them off real quick. I mean, both holes were drilled within probably two minutes. Uh, then mounted them, then tightened them up, and uh, then all you gotta do is stick your attachments in there, set them, and boom, you're on your way. So uh, there it is, the Equipment Defender PAS system, attachment rack, everybody's been wondering, what do you do with your attachments? So, uh, you know, here it is, the uh, PAS system, attachment rack, unlock, go to lock, boom, you're on your way. Ain't got to worry about nothing. So uh, check them out, equipmentdefender.com. Don't forget to use code Lanier. That's L-A-N-I-E-R. If you decide to buy anything off their website, uh, yes, I do get a kickback. All proceeds do go to me, 5%, that is. And, uh, you know, hey, I appreciate every last one of you for the support. So any questions, feel free to comment down below. Try to uh, show you or explain to you how whatever goes. So, uh, yeah, that's going to do it for this. Don't forget to check them out, equipmentdefender.com. This is Charles's. Go check out his channel, C Van Lawn Care, and uh, I will see you in the next one.